Hey, welcome to another episode of the Daddy Everyday <laughs> Show. Um, Jinx. The Jinx. Oh, dang it. <laughs> hey, I'm Delonzo, and that's Dylan. And we're excited to bring you guys another fun but informative episode of the Daddy Everyday Show. Maybe adventurous. And maybe adventurous. You, I think you've said that before. You, no, I haven't. I feel like the adventurous, I've heard you just, whether if it was here or just period, like in adventurous, I'm like... That makes me nervous. Like when he says adventurous, like, what's going to happen? I know I'd never said adventurous on the show before. Oh, really? Yes. So you just have a photographic memory of the shows, <laughs> what you say on the shows. So every like you can just recite everything you've ever said on the shows. But I know I never so, said adventurous before. You know what? I'm going to... No, I'm not. I was going to say I'm going to search all the shows to find out. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm, not. I'm, not. I'm not. I'm not going to give myself this more work. This is 42. You. You're not doing that. Yeah, I'm not going to give myself. Yeah, Too episode much. 42. Guys, um, and today we're going to discuss the dangers of social media and YouTube on youth and adults. On YouTube. Yeah, on, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to discuss the dangers of YouTube on YouTube. That sounds so funny. But no. <laughs> but it confused. Like I started on like acres. It's like you're discussing the dangers of YouTube while doing it on YouTube. But obviously <laughs> there's benefits. But we'll we're we're gonna go into all that. All right. So let me do the housekeeping portion housekeeping? first. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Housekeeping? What is that from? I think family guy. Oh yeah, 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 Peter. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So um as always. Join the text line at text J O I N two seven seven zero seven zero six three seven eight zero. No mistakes this time. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. improvement. I stuck it. So I'm. You know what I need to do? No, I don't need to make it more complicated. I was gonna say put more to it. No. no. Join the text line. I send out a text once, maybe twice a week. So don't be worried. Don't worry about getting. Depends what happens, though. Yeah, it depends on what happens. Like, cause some exciting stuff is going on. I just want to make sure you guys are fully aware and up to date on that. Also, to just learn everything about what's going on with Daddy Every Day and the podcast and things like that, just uh, log on to DaddyEveryDay.org for all your Daddy Every Day updates, etc. And like they got a blog on there, link to the um, podcast, uh, and so much more. But so we got that out of the way. So the danger of social media on youth, social media and YouTube on youth and adults. And adults. I don't know why why you take a like a dramatic pause. Because to build suspense and to make it more dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. I have my notes. You guys know how I do with notes. I can't. I try trying to memorize um, like stuff to give to recite to you guys, but it's, doesn't work. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't feel natural to me. So like, I don't know if I can ever become an actor. Maybe I guess acting is different. Like if I was getting into character, that kind of thing. So some things I just want to read off here because I want to make sure you guys get the um, the point and. For me, if you guys, if you even have a conversation with me, I can just be all over the place. It's the same if you're having a conversation with Dylan or Kendrick. Like, I don't know. It's, I mean, you just have to have a conversation with us to know. So I don't want to do that on the show. I want to make sure you guys get um, the information. And I just feel like this is really important. So I'm going to read from here a lot. Uh, but I'll try to, you know, make eye contact. Dylan's going to try to look in the right camera whenever he has a chance. Mm -hmm. But so before I get into social media, do you have um, an Instagram? Do you have a Facebook? You got a LinkedIn? What? Okay. Uh, Did you just a link LinkedIn? What's that? <laughs> you have a Snapchat? No. TikTok? No. Okay. But you use YouTube, right? I do. Okay. So before I even get into all this, but so with me, and my boys, YouTube has really been the biggest thing. I've had to watch out for them. Um, just listening. I'm always listening to what they're watching. I'm waiting for the that word or subject matter, and then you know my my uh, spider senses are going to go off, and my then spider I'm spider senses are tingling. And then I'm really going to dig and into. And you say that after I I change. After you change. <laughs> Do you say you won't say that after? 
After what? After I changed it to after I changed for the Spider Man shirt. No, oh the spy oh the spy, no, okay. Say it. Little inside joke, sorry guys. But um yeah, so so I'm you know, I'm trying to listen out, but there's gaps. Like what if I'm taking a nap? What if I go to sleep before you know, so they're able to they have to police themselves kind of thing. So that's one of the things like, you know, not everything on YouTube is for kids. So we have to make sure we don't treat YouTube like um, the Disney Channel where you just turn on a Disney movie and they're watching Snow White and all that type of stuff. We have to be conscious of what they're wearing, or I should say aware of what they're watching. I heard what they're wearing. You heard what they're wearing? <laughs> yes. Uh, not watching. I heard wearing. Did I say that? <laughs> it sounded like you did. Maybe I did. You might have actually just said wearing. I might have said a wearing. I may have said that. <laughs> but um, so some things I want to discuss um, with social media. And so this won't impact Dylan as much. But it's for the kids that are on those, you know, social media platforms. And I know a lot of this may sound like I'm beating up on social media. Absolutely not. Social media has allowed me to um, reach out to people that I would have never had the opportunity to reach out to and meet and things like that. So it, it has tons of benefits. But just like any good thing, uh, it can be abused. Um, and some of the, the, the effects of it, we won't even see in the present. It'll be a, it's a long-term thing. Or, and some of the effects of it can happen and it takes a while to get over. So some of the things I want you guys to be aware of, especially if you have young children, is um, the mental health aspect of it. You know, um, some kids' self-esteem um, is affected. Some kids go into depression because of the peer pressure on social media or feeling like you have to be a certain kind of way and things like that. And social media calls kids to have anxiety and things like that. I know we were just at uh, Dave and Buster's last night. And uh, so, first of all, I didn't realize, like, it's been a minute since I've been to Dave and Buster's. Normally we go during the daytime or something. I think it was, like, evening time when we went. And I guess, first of all, I think that's the kids, the teenage kids hangout spot. Because it seemed like it was so many teenagers there. Um, but... You won't imagine how many times I heard the kids say, make a TikTok video. Like, they are truly consumed with social media. Like, they're out having fun, but they had to stop fun so that they could, you know, focus on creating content for social media, that type thing, instead of just enjoying themselves. And then, of course, I saw teenagers there. They're just, you know, having fun. They're actually just talking. But then it was just the others that they stayed on their phone trying to make videos or just on their phone, period. When you have all this excitement around you and you can't simply enjoy it kind of thing. Um, that's concerning to me um, because then they continue to grow like that to where they're adults. And, where, and I even I fall victim to it where I can be on social media just scrolling and pretty much wasting time like I have no objective so I'm I'm trying to be more conscious of having an objective when I'm going on social media um but yeah we can just sit in there spending time wasting time kind of thing um and then when we're feeling in a certain kind of way we use social media to either boost us up or to keep us in that kind of depressed state kind of thing so um be cautious of social media not just for the kids but for your own self you know you have you know if you have bad habits with social media. Um, Cyberbullying is such a big thing. Uh, I don't know. Um, we didn't grow up with social media, like my generation. So for me, sometimes I feel like the solution is just log off. But I know it's bigger than that. But that's a part of it. It's just for the kids just to log off of it. Um, change their circles. You control what you see on social media. You can control who sees your content kind of thing. So I think kids just need to be more aware of the control they have uh, on social media. Of course, you can't block everything, um, but you can take um, a stronger stance on what you're being exposed to. And I think parents need to help guide their kids in that. Um, the addiction and screen time, like I was just mentioning how 
I'll be on there. 20 minutes will pass by, 30 minutes will pass by. I'm like, what am I doing? Like, that's 30 minutes I could have been playing with this kid right here or watching something with him, that kind of thing. But I'm wasting it just scrolling through there just mindlessly. And, and then leaving it not feeling fulfilled or anything. It literally just wasted my time. But um, that can be dangerous for kids. Like, think in the physical sense, they're, they could be out being active, but they're sitting there scrolling. Or uh, academically, they're choosing screen time over homework time. So just be cautious of that for sure. And then, of course, the exposure to inappropriate content for kids. Um, this is the part where I make sure if I see something I, with Dylan, I just say, Dylan, what is that? Sometimes he already know. Or I, I've seen where they've said something, and I've seen Dylan just go ahead and change the uh, <laughs> channel. Like I purposely avoid it. To avoid watching stuff like that? To, yeah. So I would say for, for Dylan, like, and there's even some stuff he watches that I could watch with him. A lot of it, some of those, the, 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 um, the, the creators just too loud. Like a lot of them just, just loud when they're doing it. You have some that are like, but then some are just like, um, are really cool. Like the, what's the, what's my guy's name that does the building? Jake Carlini. Yeah. That's a cool one. Like the stuff he builds and things like that. So it did not just watch the different, um, people that he watches, um, on uh, on there like I've just watched their content like like if I'm in the kitchen and he's in the living room watching I I'm watching what he's watching he doesn't know that I'm paying attention at times oh but sometimes I do something I just see you looking right but um I could be like if I'm if if I can hear it I'm paying attention to it <laughs> so it goes like that and I'm you're just like, waiting you're like this hey look what's that over there yeah and then I you know because sometimes they will still say adult jokes that I know he didn't get, but they're not a joke. They're not adult content type jokes. Like it's just something, oh, you have to be older to understand that. And then there's others that I've heard where, you know, those innuendos kind of jokes kind of thing that may went over his head, but I know what they're saying. And that makes me kind of leery of their particular content if they're doing those kind of jokes. Um, Cause some of the creators are doing stuff with, you know, um, yeah, younger audience content, like the games they're playing, the movies and all that stuff they're reviewing. But their content that they're talking about is like adult driven. So like imagery wise, it looks like it's for kids. But in what they're saying, it's really not appropriate for kids. So just be cautious. I mean, like just take a second to listen. If anything, I challenge parents to sit down and watch something that their kids like, especially if you see them watching a particular YouTuber a lot, just sit down and watch it with them and ask questions like, who's this? How long he's been doing it? Like, first of all, that's good because the kids love when you take an interest in what they like. Um, see, Godzilla agrees. And it gives you quality time with your kid. And then you get to learn what they're really watching. You get to kind of know what they're into kind of thing. So, um, Another important thing is um, privacy concerns. Um, kids give out too much information um, when they're online, like the DMs and just what they're saying. They're giving out too much personal information. And um, when Dylan gets to the age where he's ready to be on social media, I'm pretty sure his mom and I will go over all the rules and things like that. Because I remember when Kendrick was on, I believe it was Instagram, and we asked to see his Instagram, and he had... I don't know if he, it was a toy. I think he had like a, uh, like a Nerf gun or something, but he had it pointed at the um, screen. Like, and that was his um, profile pic. Absolutely not. Nothing like Kendrick is such an innocent dude, but I don't like how it made him look like, and this is just me being a protective parent. It's like, if anything happens, like, oh, they'll love to use this pic just to try to say, you know, he's prone to violence kind of thing like that. So, like, me and we instantly didn't like that image. So we definitely made him take that down. Everything else on his um, account checked out. But don't be scared to have those, I say, uncomfortable conversations um, with your kids because you can learn some things that you may not want to know about your kid or, or that can concern you um, kind of thing. Um, 
and then it can be embarrassing for your kids. So it can be real awkward. So try to always have that line of communication with your kids. And your kids know your expectations. And like your kid to have a kind of like, is it worth me posting this stuff, my folks finding out kind of thing? I want them to feel like, no, I don't, I don't want my folks to look at me like this um, kind of thing. So, but I know my boys would share stuff. Like I definitely got to talk to them about that. I remember, I always remember this with Kendrick when he was much younger. I'm typing my PIN number in at the register to pay for um, our groceries. And as I'm typing the numbers, Kendrick is saying my PIN number out loud. <laughs> He's like, one, <laughs> four, five. And it, it didn't hit me at first <laughs> until, I, until I was getting ready to hit the last number. And I realized he just said all the numbers I just previously did. Out loud, too. Out loud. Out loud. <laughs> so everyone was like, Bro, All right, what? now all I got to do is get that card. It's on. So <laughs> Let me just, hold on. Hold on. Give me some paper and pen. Let me write this down. <laughs> exactly. So kids aren't even aware of what privacy is. Um, I always tell my kids when they're on the phone not to tell information about the household. Don't say who's all here. Don't say my dad's going to bed. Don't give any information. Don't even with Kendrick being surely I didn't tell him at 18, but I know when he was probably like 16 and I was getting ready to go out, I would still say to him, don't tell people you at home alone like don't give out that kind of information why do people need to know that no one needs to know that and then you never know who's out there watching and listening when you're online and um and with all the the hackers and all that stuff they can find out where you live and stuff so make sure your kids are aware about that of being private if, if somebody asks tell them it's 10 people here like like all ages all my uncles all 10 of my uncles are here and they're all looking ready to fight, whatever. Just make sure they never give out specifics of your household. Would you say that's good information? Reasonable. Reason. <laughs> 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 all right. Now for adults, because, you know, I said the dangers of social media and YouTube. For youth and adults. Yeah. Right. Adult, you said youth and adults. And, and oh, the. <laughs> <laughs> Just a long, dramatic pause. unnecessary pause. Dramatic pause. I like it. It's unnecessary. I liked it better when you said dramatic pause. <laughs> it's unnecessary, though. <laughs> um, health, mental health, um, having the the sense of not being being inadequate because you see the life people are living online and feel like you should be much further in life, and you can truly feel that way. Like even with me, I think about where I could be. In the positive, like, like, man, I should have this and that. But then also, you have to weigh where you was. And you're better off than where, you know, now than where you was. So, like, you may not reach where you think you should be at this point in life. But one, Lord willing, and you doing the right things, you can still accomplish that. Um, so don't compare yourself to others because that will give anxiety, um, depression, Sits in because we're looking at what other people have and where you think you should be. Um, productivity suffers. I, like I told you, spending 30 minutes just scrolling, not learning anything. Also, be careful who you follow, too, because I know there's some people I probably, accounts I probably should unfollow because it's not be, helping me be productive. And then there's, there's always a post I can maybe run across that may inspire me and sometimes it makes me get off because I'm like, all right, but what am I doing with my life? That may actually be the post. What are you doing with your life? And then I'm like scrolling. Let me get off here and do something productive. Um, so um, then just being addicted to it. It's like some people can't function without being on YouTube and and, and um, all the social media out, um, outlets, like while they're at work. You know how many times I have to tell people to stop um, what they're doing, stop you know, FaceTiming, not FaceTiming, but being, doing Facebook Lives. I've seen people do Facebook Lives while they're at work, um, making TikTok videos while they're supposed to be working, like kind of thing. And I'm like, and these are adults. These aren't like kids, I'm telling like, you know, like a teenager. This is a full grown adult who has kids and then I'm having to tell them to stop doing, uh, get off social media or stop making videos for social media while you're at work, so. You're, you came here to work, not goof around. Exactly. And you heard it straight from Godzilla. 
And then like I and then misinformation. That's a really big one. Um I'm gonna tell you the first time I really thought how um social media could give out misinformation, like through Kendrick, another story with Kendrick. So what was it? The PlayStation 3? Well, PlayStation 4 came out and Kendrick had a three. Kendrick told me that he can convert his three to a four. Because he saw a YouTuber do it. I said, Kendrick, don't you dare open this PS3 up. Uh, maybe Christmas you can get a PS4 in it. Of course, this is years ago. But he really thought he can just convert it. I didn't even waste time looking at the video to see. All I know is I'm pretty sure Sony's uh, company is advanced enough to know we can't make a product and upgrade it and then somebody at home can just simply change it themselves. Not saying it can't be done. I just know we don't have the tools or resources to do it ourselves, regardless of a video showing us. So, and there's no proof of the concept. Like the guy can just say, Hey, I did it. And you just believe it. So be cautious of what, where kids are getting their information, challenge them. If they tell you something and you don't um, believe it, make them prove it to you outside of just a YouTuber saying it can be done kind of thing. And then of course, how they use social media to give out misinformation about candidates and things like that. You know how many times I've um, felt sad for a celebrity that died, but they really didn't. And they had to do a post themselves to say, hey, I'm still alive. You know how many times they killed off Morgan Freeman? That man's still here. But anyway, so be careful of misinformation, even as an adult. Um, and parents, here are some things you can do to help when your kids are on social media. And I know I'm going to be doing these things when this guy gets on social media. If he even gets on, Dylan's different to me. And I mean that in a good way, you're different. Because he's not really influenced by other people. Like, he likes what he likes. He does what he wants to do kind of thing. So, I don't know if social media is good for him. But I mean, he'll follow his creators and stuff. The people who create things that he likes. So, he may get on there for that. But setting boundaries for your kids. Setting um, screen time limits. Uh, and then just having healthy um, social media habits. Um, I would say, make sure if your kid's gonna get in there, especially when they're young, that let them know that you will be doing audits of their account to let them know that you will be seeing and watching. Um, having those open conversations. Like, when he gets on there, I wanna talk to him. Like, what do you, what do you follow on um, whatever social media platform you're on and things like that? And then just straight out monitoring it. Um, I don't. I haven't looked into all the um, um, safety precautions they have for adults who have kids that are on social social media. I'm definitely going to read up on that. I I can say I dropped the ball with Kendrick because I never really did that with Kendrick. Um, but you know, where you make mistakes with your first kid, you can now correct them with your second. Kind of goes both ways. Or your your second kid doesn't get all the freedoms that the first have just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But so I know I'll be more aware of those type things and just educate Dylan as he goes on to using social media. Um, and the positives. So I do have, see, I have positives down for it. Uh, educational yeah. uh, content. I use like today for YouTube. I, I watched um, a live church service right from home. Um, I do need to get out to church but I watched it from home um kept me uplifted this morning because I I was slow dragging I didn't even want to get out of bed so um I've connected with so many of my friends um from high school through social media and um and just people I passed through in life basically I've been able to reconnect with them and stuff like that so obviously and and then being able to share my creative um content with people like that's one of the biggest ways that people are aware that there is a daddy every day is by me being able to use social media so not saying we should just get rid of social media but we got definitely got to know um the pitfalls of it and um, be conscious of it not for just ourselves but for kids as well and young adults 
uh, and preteens and pre-adults, as Dylan labeled Kendrick. Is Kendrick still a pre-adult? How long will he be a pre-adult? Till 21. Till 21. So Del- Kendrick's off on his own, got his dorm room, going to college. In uh, college. In college, excuse me. In college. Wait, going to college? I, I guess. Yeah, we were in college. Let me not challenge him because he'll probably show me out on the show. So <laughs> in college. <laughs> Uh, he's going to start back working again because he took a little hiatus just trying to, you know, get going uh, in college. In college, But he's still a pre-adult in um, Dylan's eyes. And what's funny is when he first said that, I laughed. But that's how I still, I still view him because I guess I still see him as that's my, that's my son. That's my kid. So I can live with pre-adults. Yeah, I can live with pre-adults. Um, so that's about it. So those are my and my information about the dangers of social media and YouTube. Um, and I know I actually said YouTube's name a lot, and that's not me picking on them, but I really don't consider. I guess it is a social media outlet. I just kind of see it differently from the Instagrams and Facebooks, which I all use. I use Facebook. I use Instagram, LinkedIn. That Dylan has no idea what that is. That's your homework assignment is to see what. LinkedIn, you, there's no need to. Uh, I'll still do it anyways. Yeah. I have a TikTok. Uh, I only have the TikTok so that I can see other TikToks. Because people share TikTok videos with me. Um, I have some videos up. I, I probably should put some more up there. Uh, yeah, I should do some more. I do some TikTok. Well, not do a TikTok video because I'm not going to do any dancing. Well, I won't say I won't. <laughs> Because if Dylan wanted to do a TikTok video dancing, I would do it. I doubt it. I think I would suggest it before he would. Would you? I, I would never, ever. See, you heard that. He never, ever do a dancing TikTok video? No. Would you do a TikTok video? A video just for TikTok, but it's not necessarily dancing. It could be something else. It could be, okay. So, but he said he would never do a dancing. No one. dancing. Plus oh. videos exist. Only plush videos. Only plush videos. I, f- I feel like we can do a dance. Now now I want to do a dancing video. I didn't want to do one. But <laughs> no, now I no. Want to now do you one. say it yourself. Now I want to do one only if Dylan do it with me. So. <laughs> well, I guess he won't be doing one then. <laughs> I wouldn't know what we would do anyway. But um, So I have those social media outlets. So I'm definitely not bashing them. It's just be conscious of it. Um, Because I, now I see there's lawsuits against some of the social media outlets because they're aware that it's um, addictive and stuff like that. So I have my opinions on that. I'm not going to hate on the lawsuit, but I think we have to police ourselves on certain things, um, especially adults. And then we just got to be watchful of our kids. Like We need to be aware of what our kids are watching as much as we can, because I know there's, there's gaps where we're not with our kids, and all we can do is, is instill integrity in them and hope that they – um, live up to it. So um, that's all I got on social media. Which, so what age do you think you're gonna start? Mm. You have no interest right now, right? So there's no interest in going on Instagram. Have you even seen Instagram? I've seen it before. Oh, okay. You have friends that are on there. Well, you don't want to probably rat anybody I don't out. Even use it? Huh? No, no. I'm saying, do your friends say, "Hey, I'm on Instagram"? No. Oh, okay. You have, you have a big circle, a small circle of friends. There are people you call friends. Small. Okay. I do too. Like, it's big, but then it's small at the same time. The people I would call friends. So, One um, day I would call my friends because best friends because I've been with them for so long. So long? Yeah. Which are all stored in here. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So maybe I might not have to worry about this. So this is for you guys to uh, really, I I might be all right. I might not have to worry about social media as much with Dylan. So that'd be cool. Like that's one less thing off my plate to worry about as he goes through his teen years. However, middle school is a tricky thing. This is where kids really do, uh, as the adults say, start to smell themselves. Have, have you ever heard that term? No. When you start to smell yourself. Yeah, so this is where uh, kids start to change, and then high school amplifies it. So um, be cautious of your kids in middle school. Be paying attention to changes. Like I'm, the boys don't realize this. Anytime they do anything out of the ordinary, 
um, I'm concerned. Let's say if, 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 if Dylan was to nap all day, I would be concerned because I'm used to him either watching something, creating something, those type things. Like, so if you see your kids doing something that they normally not do, like if I went a while without Dylan building something, I would ask him what's up because I'm used to him always creating something, whether it's uh, some animation video or paper um, project. I did do something paper related yesterday. Very good. So. No, for, I don't a have to be video. for a video. So I don't have to be concerned right now. But same thing with Kendrick. Like, um, I need to make sure me and him have a routine of communicating with each other so that I can notice something. Because now he's away. Like, so he could be in bed all day and I not know it kind of thing. So um, he's been keeping me updated on the um, football and everything. Any late breaking news. He yeah, he'll send me. Um, so long as he's. Doing that, I know that he's in good spirits and he's still trying to reach out to his old man. So that's good. Oh, that's you call yourself old man. Finally, you agree. Well, <laughs> <sighs> you guys call it to me so much. Uh, Dang, you. T- <laughs> that, well, you stopped me at joke. <laughs> like that. You, he, that. you just accept that this for you're like, you know what? <laughs> but I'm, I'm old man I'm, now. I'm, I don't feel like an old man, so that's the important part. As long, so as long as I don't buy into it. You don't it, feel like it, I'm but an you older are man. one. I'm an older man, but I'm not he, an old man. You become an older man when your birthday hits. I'll be that much. I'm that's one what, year older. That's what Kendrick said last year. Did he? Older man. <laughs> but that's all I have for you guys for the dangers of social media. Just pay attention to your kids' accounts. Um, try to follow them so that you can see what they're posting and stuff mm-hmm. unless they got the privacy up and most of them probably do i don't know i don't i don't follow any anybody that's young so i don't know like my uh all my nieces are much older so i follow them and then their kids are here so i don't have anybody writing here of my nieces and cousins or anything to to see how kids are even trending on um Instagram and all the other stuff. So um, just be cautious. That's all. That's Honestly, all. Honestly, what I seen from kids doing on YouTube, it's a mess. It's a mess. And when I say it's a mess, I mean green screen. They're using green screen? Yes. I seen like when a kid uses green screen on YouTube, mm-hmm. a lo- the whole comment section is like hashtag stop green screen kids. Green screen is bad? Well, these people say it because. They're basically stealing other content. Oh, I got what you're saying. And that's why they say stop green screen kids. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we make original content here. Yes. Like dance, TikTok videos. No dancing. <laughs> no, no, no dancing. No dancing. What about Godzilla dancing? Do it for the TikTok? Yeah. Well, Godzilla <laughs> dancing coming soon to you guys on TikTok. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, but that's it. So that's it for the... Say that a couple of times. So <laughs> you said that's it. That's it. Are right, you ready? Yes. So, all right. So goodbye. All right, guys. Be safe and all that. So we don't have a catchphrase for the end of the show. Are we going to do that? I don't know. Okay, maybe one day. So that's it. Talk to you guys later. See you on the flip side. <laughs> the, ooh, see you on the flip side. That's that's old school. <laughs> all right. Is it? What if we say?